Okay, today I'm going to do a flip cup and a drag. And I'm going to do two things I've never done before. One, I'm not using any white or black in my paints. I'm only using primary colors. So I'm hoping I'll get some cool stuff. I'll have still hopefully have my primary colors still on there and then I'll get some of the secondaries, greens, purples, stuff like that out of it too. So I'm hoping that'll give me a good mixture in colors. And the other thing that I've never done before is I've never used the coconut milk, the OGX coconut milk with the dimethicone in it. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos of it and people get really good results with it. Uh, I'm getting better and better with my silicone getting cells, but I want to give this stuff a try too. So uh, what I'm going to do, I've already got my paints mixed up and I use my normal paint recipe, Floetrol, glue, paint, and a little bit of water to thin it. And uh, I've got the spreadsheet if you want to look at that. It's on my Facebook group, Poor Painting by Double Reno group. And over on the left side, there's a files tab, and you click on that. My little spreadsheet, it'll calculate your paint out by canvas size, and then you put how many colors you want. It'll tell you how much to mix of everything uh, right there on the spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to start out, this is new, so, and I've, I've kind of experimented with this, just how this stuff comes out, and it comes out pretty quick. So I'm just going to try and give it one little squirt. That ended up being three drops. This stuff is, see that came out kind of a big squirt. That's probably, yeah, that may be a little bit more than the other one. May have to get a dropper for this. Okay, and I'm going to give it a decent mix. Not a whole lot, but a decent mix. And then I'm going to pour the colors in one at a time layer them into my big cup and then I'm going to flip it, let it sit and reset. And I've been experimenting with the way I do my videos. I've, I'm kind of leaning towards the fast forwarding through a lot of the stuff so it doesn't take so long. People still get to see the effects, see what I'm doing with it. It doesn't take them 20 minutes to watch a video. So I've got these mixed. I'm going to start pouring them into my cup, layering my cup, flip it and I'm going to let it set and I'll reset everything up and actually do the drag. So I'm going to go ahead and start fast forwarding from this point.
Well, I'm tickled to death with that. Uh, the color combo, I really, really like. I got my reds, my blues, my yellows. I ended up with some greens, I ended up with some purples, a little bit of orange, different shades of, of blues and reds. The, the color combo came out really cool. Hopefully it'll dry true to, to what it looks like, but typically white and black are the ones that change your colors after they dry, so hopefully this will stay pretty true to color. Uh, the cells, there's a ton of cells. They're not real big, but that's a lot of that's just the way that I did it. But I mean, the cells are cool. I mean, the cells are, each cell has a bunch of different colors in it. Very unique. So I'm really pleased with this. Uh, honestly, just for my personal taste, this is one of my favorite ones I've ever made. So I'm going to come back and I'll take a picture of it and I'll show you a zoom in of it here at the end of the video. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you interested in any of the supplies that I use, I've got links down in the description to Amazon if you want to take a look at those. And uh, I appreciate you watching. Please like and please subscribe to my channel and share my videos. Thank you very much. Bye.